Hey everybody, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you're doing well today. Today I have, um, featuring some papers that I'm working on. They're going to be in my Etsy shop as um, digital and paper sampler downloads. And I think, you know, with Father's Day coming up, um, sometimes we struggle with man cards. So I thought I would go ahead and do one, a shaped circular card with um, the different papers. This is actually a second one that I'm working on. I've got it all mapped out, but it's not ready. But here's sort of the theme of this is my little hand-drawn vest and uh, shirt and tie. And um, I'm going to be finishing up that card in a little while. Lost my happy birthday there. So gray and gold. I love that gray and mustardy color. But today we're going to work on um, this card. And so I have my embellishments and I have some things cut out already. I have some little buttons that I'm going to use as embellishments, both a metal one and two sort of resiny. I have some die cuts cut out of um, some beautiful bluish greenish colors, a light blue there and then a neutral and that's kind of the green and blue that goes throughout the collection as well as the other. I have some words. These are words that are available in my shop right now as a digital download and I just cut them out and they're also available with black with white letters so that's nice. So I've got the white with black and then I backed it on some brown paper and so my my sort of um, sentiment if you will is going to be humble resilience so I like that combination because we need humility right? Humble people um, really take in instruction and do well and get wisdom and then resilience is that you know uh, ability to carry things through and no matter how hard the trial so humble resilience I thought that was a nice little um, sentiment what's nice about my sentiment sheet is you can mix and match so that's nice so depending on what kind of card you're making so let me quickly show you what I've got here I have a large circle this is about is a stitch circle die that's almost six inches. It's kind of in between five and three quarters and six. And then I just put it off, I fold it over some paper, put it off the edge, and then you have yourself a circular shaped card. But because I don't want that hanging out there on the top flat like that, I took that exact same die and I cut it out. You can do this for any shape. This is a method you can use for your nesting dies or whatever dies. Um, take the exact same shape and then cut it out of your paper. So this is my plaid that I made and it's got all those great colors in there and that's going to go right on top. Of course you don't want to glue <laughs> right there because then you'd have glue hanging off. So let's go ahead and in this case usually I glue the back of this but I think just to make sure I don't get glue in the wrong spot. This will also make your card extra sturdy as well. Nice about the wet glue is you have a little wiggle room. Okay. So that's our base. And then you can, you know, layer things inside or whatever sentiments you want to put inside there. My next layer is sort of the next one down. These are my wings that I drew and painted. I love how they turned out. This is also going to be available soon. Um, and I also have the star shape is made out of one of these wings all turned around, so I thought that was kind of fun. I liked how those went together. So that's also going to go right here. So these are quick and easy cards, but when the recipient gets them, they look really neat because they're a neat shape, they've got neat layers, and um, I don't know, they're fun. You can't get these in the store, right? It's nice about handmade cards. Not only the gift of the card, but the gift of the time spent making it, right? So that's that. And then my final piece here, I recently got a postage note stamp. Um, it's got that postal edge in circles, so that's not something that I had. Plus I had the stitch, so that was really nice. And this is my paper. It's a grid with my bow ties and my little guy there. So that's going to go on top as well. So just layering. So far super easy. <laughs> so that's fun. Okay, so then you want to map out where you want to put your sort of which one of these is going to be your focal point. I think it's going to be this guy. So um, I'm going to go ahead and sort of cluster that and then my sentiment, I want to make sure I have that mapped out. So you just want to think about where you're putting that. Of course you could add lots of things to this. Uh, how did I have that? 
<laughs> Sometimes I take a picture because it's like, how did I have that? I don't remember. That's how short, bad my short-term memory is. Um, okay, and then this sort of lacy leaf, which is a nice, um, nice little touch. What's nice about it, I don't know. I, how people feel about flowers on masculine cards. What's your opinion on that? You can go ahead and put that in the comments below. Do you put flowers on masculine cards or does it matter? Whatever. Uh, so leaves are a nice compromise. Um, I think it's fine to put some flowers as long as it's, you know, whatever. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put these on. Okay, so I popped those up on foam adhesive there. Now I'm going to switch glues for my buttons because as strong and nice as this is, I really like to use fabric tack glue when, or you could use a hot glue gun. Um, but I hate getting out my hot glue gun. I don't know, it takes me forever and my place is messy. So fabric tack to me is like the strength of hot glue only without the hotness. So um, that makes sense. So I use it for things like metal charms and buttons and fabric like that and of course that'll take a little time to dry but that's really all there is to it and other than stamping on the inside or writing your message there um, you know that's super easy card um, and <laughs> hopefully uh, you'll like that and you can go check out my shop this um, uh, I'm not sure at the time of the filming if this digital will be ready, but you can go bookmark my shop, um, hit the favorite sign, and then you'll be notified when new listings occur. Um, and you can check out what's there. Uh, thanks so much for joining me, guys, and have a great day.